Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, the channel, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Jordan Gray. He is the VP of Channel for Tonaquint Data Centers. Jordan, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely, it is my pleasure. Uh, to have you here today from Channel Partners 2024. You recently joined the Tonaquint team just last fall, so congratulations on that role. Why don't you share a little bit about your position, Tonaquint's channel program, and any special projects that you're working on? Yeah, it's very exciting because Tonaquint is ready to um, move forward in the channel and really establish a true channel program. And so um, they brought me along. Um, this is my eighth Channel Partners, and I'm excited to be here and lead the uh, Tonaquint team uh, on what we're doing now is we already have an agreement with uh, one TSD so we're looking to expand that and that's also going to help us kind of move across the country with all new partners. Um, Tonaquint was a homegrown family business and so was the channel program and so we're ready to take it to that next level. Um, one of the big impacts I guess we'll make initially and we'll go ahead and announce it today is Q2 SPIF. Okay. So we're working on bringing smaller workloads to all of our data centers. And so that one of those spiffs is going to be um, bring 500 KW of workloads. We're going to give you 50 grand. And so pretty a big amount of money that we're willing to put out there and show the channel that we're serious. Well, 50 grand definitely <laughs> is leveling up uh, yeah. that channel partner program with that spiff. So congratulations to Tonaquint for really leveling up uh, the channel partner program with with you and with an amazing spiff like that. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the recent acquisition of EdgeX in Oklahoma City, which is currently being recommissioned and set to open this spring. Yeah, very excited about that. That was one of the reasons that I also um, came on board was the expansion that Tonaquin is putting into their data centers and expanding multiple each year. Um, and with doing that, Oklahoma City is number one for us to be expanding. Um, it is opening very early this spring, so I'm very excited uh, whenever we can actually talk about the date. Um, but it is liquid cooling. It's ready for high density loads, perfect for AI. It's 20,000 square feet right now of completely empty data hall space. So we have whatever, whatever a company needs us to do, we can actually um, put them in there. It's going to have a two and a half megawatts for this year with a 12 megawatt capacity, um, credit capacity um, planned. Well, that sounds exciting yeah. and you can't give us the date yet, but coming Not yet. soon, right? Very, very soon. All right. So given the dynamic nature of the technology industry as a whole, where do you foresee the channel partners as a whole heading into the future? Yeah, channel partners, and that's why this event has continued to grow, yep. is because they are the future. Um, if you look at a lot of trends and a lot of companies that I've seen, how they um, are structuring not only their sales force as more channel um, focus friendly, but also that's where they're looking at. They're putting less into an enterprise direct sales force. If you talk to a lot of these big companies, they're not going to, you know, internally do all, all that work. They're going to rely on a trusted advisor that can bring the, cor the correct suppliers to them. And then also technology is growing so fast. So How fast. can somebody literally put their stuff out there and be an impact whenever they can turn to a channel community and they can say, here's 3000 people that can sell my product day one. And that's where I think the channel is going to continue to evolve. Uh, I think every year I hear about the bigger deal that's setting a record, the biggest UCAS deal, the biggest data center deal, Colo. Um, we're all breaking records each year on the, the amount of deals that are being sold. And we're breaking a record here this year at Channel Partners. This is the biggest show to date. Yes. Uh, so super exciting. And I really love what you said, Jordan. You said Channel Partners are the future. Yep. So um, I totally agree with you, and I'm sure everyone does here. Almost 10,000 attendees yep. here at Channel Partners 2024. So congratulations again to you on your role uh, with Tonaquin as the VP of Channel and the upcoming um, opening of the facility in Oklahoma City. So, so much great excitement yep. with Tonaquin. So thank you again for joining me. Thank and you. And thank you viewers for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV from Channel Partners 2024. Stay connected, stay curious, and happy networking.